Cisco InterSight device connector. Configuring the device connector settings on Cisco IMC enables you to manage the C-Series servers using Cisco InterSight, which is a cloud-based application. You can choose to manage the server using only InterSight or using both InterSight and Cisco IMC. This video explains the various options available to configure device connector to enable Cisco InterSight management. Device connector settings for InterSight management. In the navigation pane, click the admin tab and then device connector. The InterSight management area allows you to enable or disable InterSight management. Clicking the enabled radio button on enables the InterSight management and allows you to claim this system and leverage the capabilities of Cisco InterSight. While clicking it off disables InterSight management. No communication will be allowed to Cisco InterSight. The connection area displays the status of the connection to InterSight. In the status field, Administratively Disabled indicates that the InterSight management has been disabled. DNS Misconfigured indicates that the DNS details have not been configured in BMC. UCS Connect Network Error indicates invalid network configurations. Certification Validation Error indicates an invalid certificate. Claimed indicates that the device is claimed in InterSight. Not Claimed indicates that the device is registered but not claimed in InterSight. Claim code is a security code required to claim the device from InterSight. Note that this code is available only when the connection status is not claimed. Access mode. The default is to allow control. Device ID indicates the ID of the device. The settings area shows the options that you can choose to enable management control through InterSight or InterSight and Cisco IMC. In the general area, when the read-only access mode is selected, then you cannot configure the device through InterSight. When the allow control mode is selected, then you have full control to configure the device through InterSight. The configuration from InterSight only option is configurable only when the allow control mode is enabled. Turn off the option to manage the device both locally and from InterSight, and turn on the option to lock out Cisco IMC configuration for InterSight. Changing the setting will terminate all the existing sessions, Web UI, XML, and CLI. Note that when you're logged in as an admin in the configuration lockout mode, the admin role will be mapped to the user role, so the interfaces behave as a user logged in with the user role. Proxy configuration allows you to manually configure the HTTPS proxy settings required for the InterSight connection. The HTTPS proxy radio button disables the HTTPS proxy settings when turned off and enables the HTTPS proxy settings when turned on. The IP address or the host name of the proxy server are entered in the proxy host name IP field and the port number of the proxy server is entered in the proxy port field. Enabling the authentication toggle button allows you to provide the credentials for the proxy server. Note that the device connector does not mandate the format of the login credentials. They're passed as is to the configured HTTP proxy server. Whether or not the username must be qualified with a domain name will depend on the configuration of the HTTP proxy server. The credentials for the proxy server are entered in the username and password field.